Hello and welcome to my channel Rapid Vectors. In this tutorial, we are going to create a single jump and then allow multiple jumps so that we can use double jump or more if the player ends up with an ability pickup. So in this level, I've now enabled a jump count of two so I can now jump to higher ledges. If you like what you see in this tutorial, please remember to hit like or subscribe so that you receive future notifications on updates to this series. Before we begin, I would just like to say there is another tutorial in my playlist for jump setup and jump animations, which may be helpful. Now in the root folder, let's begin by opening the player, open the player scene, and let's just go to the script. If we just scroll down to our player jump method, we are going to modify this method so that we can have multiple jumps. We will use a jump counter, which will set a default value of one for the single jump, and then you can set this to two if you want to apply two jumps or even more. Let's scroll to the top of the script and under max jump horizontal speed, let's export another variable. We'll say jump count, which is an integer and we'll use a default value of one. Then under muzzle position, let's write another variable, which is current jump count, which is also an integer. Now let's scroll back down to the player jump method and we'll make our modifications so that we can handle a single jump or multiple jumps. The first thing to do is to create a variable which holds the jump input state. We'll use a bool for this, and we can just copy and paste the input action here. Then replace input is action just pressed with jump input. So when the player is on the floor and we have a jump input, what we want to do is to check our current jump count. So we'll just use this variable and we want to reset this every time the player hits the floor. But when it's zero, we want to then apply a jump and then increase the jump count. So this will then work for the single jump. And then we want to manage every consecutive jump, depending on how many jumps we have placed in the export variable. So let's do a new if statement. So it's if not is on floor and then check do we have a jump input and if current jump count is less than the export variable total jump count then what we want to do is when we're in the air we want to increase the velocity again for the consecutive jump by just assigning velocity dot y equals jump and then what we need to do is to increase the current jump count again and then keep the current state equals state Dot jump. We've now finished the player jump method, but so let's test this scene. So go to levels, test levels, and then just open up the test level. So select player node, and in the properties, we now have a jump count, which is one. And let's just keep this to one so we have a single jump. And let's just test the scene with that. So if we just press the space bar, as you can see now, we have a single jump. Then go back to player. And just increase that to two and let's just test that as you can see now we've got two jumps and then let's increase this value to three and we'll test that so as we move one two three testing all three jumps so as you can see now we've added the ability to add multiple jumps to our player there are some benefits to improving this method and adding a jump counter because we can now start the game with giving the player the ability of just a single jump. Then as they advance through the levels, we can have ability pickups. And one of those could be to give the player a double jump and then they can reach higher ledges in the levels. And it's possible to take this principle to other player states, which will add to your game mechanics. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you like what you've seen, please remember to hit like or subscribe. And thank you for watching.